Hello there my fellow Hosable Heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. So in this one I'm back in the territory battles on the Geonosis, the Separatist might, so that's the dark side. So now we are here in phase 3 and in this video I will attempt uh, to complete both missions here for the fleet. Um, so let's start first with the one that requires the Geos and then I'll see what I have left uh, for the other battle. Alright, so with Geos, let's just go in full in Separatist squad here. So hopefully Hyena Bomber will be able to tank for us. And then uh, let's add IG as well, because he's a droid, so there is some synergy there. And finally uh, I'll add in uh, the Scimitar, so can maybe dispel, recover some protection and things like that. Now in terms of uh, my pilots, um, everybody's gear 12. Uh, here uh, except uh, for the scimitar there are both pilots are like gear 8 and 6 stars so it's not a very durable ship but you know you just need it for that cleanse and that's it really so hopefully this will be enough and as for the fleet commander uh, I will take in Throne because I think he's a better commander here and then let's see will I get negotiator or uh, will I get Mace's uh, ship so let's see uh, which one I will be dealt with here. Alright, so I got Negotiator. Ouch. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ooh, a big head on one of my Geos here. Um, so for this first move, I think I'll just call one of the Geos here to do a big head. I think there's no point in doing the AoE because they're most likely to resist all the, you know, Terminator removal and everything. And in terms of healing, well, apart from Geos Pi, uh, I think that's GSP at least. Everybody's got still full health, so instead I'll just call somebody to assist here to maybe land a nice big hit. There goes the AoE and Daze. Okay. Alright, it's time for a spy to the big hit. Here we go. Um, let's stun the Clone Sergeant because he's got the highest turn meter there. Um, so he doesn't take out our spy. Alright, cool. We got Consular out. That's good. And they bring Clone Sergeant again. Another tank. No choice but to go after him. Oh, there you go, we lost Sunfact. That's what happens when your Sunfact is gear 12. Now, for the first reinforcement, we need a tank. So, yeah, let's bring in Hyena Bomber here. Um, yeah, let's get those buzz droids out. Get a taunt up. So, hopefully, he'll be able to tank for us here for a while. Well, have to go after Clone Sergeant there. He's taunting anyway. Here we go. Alright, now it's time to heal up. Perfect. So our spy is still in the game. Okay, let's try and work out on the other guy there. Excellent. Oh! There goes my spy. Man! No, no, no. Stay with me. Stay with me. That's it. Come on. Oh! Oof! There goes my soldier. Not looking good. Not looking good. Alright, uh, let's bring in our Vulture Droid. Hopefully get some buzz droids out there and maybe we can recover from the loss of all the geos now. Um, yeah, let's go after him. He's a big damage dealer, I think. Alright, here we go. Uh, come on, hyena. Stay with me, buddy. Oh, it's so close. So close. Stay with me. Ooh. That's a timely here ultimate from Throne. Whew, so we can insta-kill uh, the guy that's taunting there as well as recover all protection and all health on the Hina Bomber that's like eh, barely hanging, barely hanging in there. Whew. I knew I had to bring a throne in here, I knew it. Alright, looking good now. Only two left, alright three, they got Plo Koon in there for the clans, I, okay let's see. Um, let's see who we want to bring. Yeah, let's bring in IG, I think. Because he's a droid, so... Now we got three droids on the field, so hopefully there will be some synergy between them. Eh, no stun, unfortunately, got resisted. Man, Thrawn for the win! Here we go, more buzz droids. Alright. Oh, a nice big hit from Vulture Droid. Excellent. Alright, let's just do this, just to buff up a little bit, uh, add defense up on Hyena Bomber. If he was at full health, I still think it's worth it. 
All right, let's take Plo Koon out. There goes their healer. Probably should go after Rex next, because he can heal as well. Yeah, man. Woo! These buzz droids are really doing the work for us now. All right, some protection up here. And cleanse all those nasty debuffs. All right, I think we're in good shape here. All right, let's take him out. No, how about now? All right, cool, Rex is out. It's only close Sergeant to go. Stun. No stun, of course. And another ultimate from Throne. And this is a win. Okay, let's slow this down and enjoy this win. That's it. Take him out. Boom. Yes. Alright, excellent. So it was worth getting Haina Bomber to 7 stars. Here, definitely. He was the MVP. Absolutely. He tanked for us and tanked for us and tanked for us. I think if my Geos would actually be Relic, this wouldn't be that close. Uh, especially Sunfact, right? Because Sunfact, even though he's tanked, it took him out quite quickly. So if I would have Relics on, on him, uh, maybe, you know, then Hina Bomber wouldn't be that close to dying. Because Sunfact would still be alive at that point. Right, so we got first battle done. Let's see if we get some good RNG on the second one. So yeah, for a second ship battle here, um, obviously got Tarkin left. Uh, I've got him at gear 12, Emperor Shuttle, so Palpatine is Relic 1, and Royal Guard is gear 10, uh, TIE Pilot is at gear 11, TIE Reaper, both pilots uh, are at gear 12, uh, Vader gear 12, um, then Kylo, again everybody gear 12, except Phasma's gear 11 here, and then we got Sith Assassin gear 12, and Maul at gear 10, so a little bit Relics, but not too many, so we'll see. But I think what we are missing here is, you know, the just announced um, TIE Bomber. That guy will be tanky, so will be perfect for territory battles. Alright, uh, fingers crossed we get Mace here, because I don't think these guys can take on a Negotiator. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, we got Mace. Alright, let's see, let's see if we can pull out a win here. Okay... Ooh, they're going after Tyre Reaper all out. Ugh. Oh, they lost a ship before I took a turn. Alright. Let's use this now special uh, attack from uh, TIE Fighter so he gains uh, foresight. And then when he invades, it will feed the turn meter to Tarkin. So he'll get more turns in, so that's good. Alright, I don't really use Pulp Ship all that much. Um, so I don't exactly know what all his abilities do. I know he has an ability that can recover health and protection, but that one starts on cooldown, so I can't use that. So let's then use the other special ability here. Oh, it had a taunt on uh, TIE Fighters. <laughs> I really don't use uh, Pulp Ship, so there you go. It added a taunt on uh, TIE Fighter, which is good, because he's got foresight, so when he gets attacked, he will evade and feed Terminator to Tarkin. So this is actually good. This is good, actually. There you go. Evasion, turn meter for Tarkin, and he gets another turn. Excellent. Uh, so now for the first reinforcement, I'm bringing in uh, Tai Advanced here, because with his reinforcement ability, if you have it max, he will apply dots, he will apply offense down, which will reduce uh, the damage we get from the enemy, as well as with all those extra uh, debuffs, thanks to Tarkin's kit, it will boost your offense because for each uh, debuff on the enemy you're getting extra offense um, which I think is even doubled for Empire Allies or something like that so uh, by using TIE Advance together with Arkane I think this is really good because when you bring him as a reinforcement you reduce the offense on the enemy and significantly boost your offense thanks to uh, Tarkin's kit alright so here we go oh that's it lots of lovely debuffs target lock that's unresistible as well so more debuffs on the field so hopefully we'll be hitting harder hang in there pilot ah dodge here we go nice counter attack so there you go we're starting doing some good hits now with all those debuffs uh let's ability block consular so he doesn't heal anybody yeah nice big hits here there you go consular's out um yeah let's do this some turn meter extra offense here we go Again, four side up, so we're gonna invade here. Yeah, man, this is really falling apart. Okay, cool. So let's use now Emperor's Influence that will uh, recover uh, health and protection on Vader's ship here. 
So hopefully he'll stay alive. Here we go. Oh! So all that uh, health and protection recovery was for nothing. <laughs> oh man. Don't tell me I have to relic my Vader as well. But yeah, the, the new TIE Bomber would be excellent in here, I think. Alright, here we go. One more ship to go. Who are we gonna bring in? I'm going to bring in a uh, Kala's Command Shuttle here so I can then uh, remove critical uh, immunity from close Sergeant and then as well feed turn meter uh, to TIE Pilot. Nice, more turn meter, more offense for us here. Come on, pass this now over turn to TIE Pilot and let's see if we can land a nice big hit. Well, not that great, but at least we got the foresight, so we can never again evade. Are right, they going after Kylo now? All right, guys, this is it. Let's slow it down and enjoy the ultimate from Tarkin and a win in the second mission as well. Boom! There you go. Wow. I don't think I've ever completed both missions before, so this is a first. So that's why I was really excited to share this with you because I think it's the first time I've done it. Uh, I usually clear one um, or sometimes even none because uh, I volunteer always to platoon my Hound's Tooth uh, and try to make it work with other ships. And here we won the first one against Negotiator. Really good, so I'm very happy with that. It got close with Hyena Bomber but he managed to tank for us the whole way through. Um, and then the second battle, if I would have gone Negotiator, I think there's no way I would have won with the fleet I've got here. Uh, but uh, against Mace, we were able to pull out a win and it wasn't even close, it was quite a comfortable win. Um, but whenever we get TIE Bomber here, I think, you know, completing then two missions will be much, much easier in territory battles. But until then guys, thank you for watching, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.